When you launch the Use Case Manager app, there is a icon here that is a wrench that basically is the result of putting in a room the, our best guys that do curator tuning, the in and the out, and extracting from them the best tips, techniques. I got the opportunity to work with Ali Ala, who is one of the guys that was actually interviewed for that and contributed significantly in it. And I want to pass along on this video series what I learned from him. So what are these four tiles? Let's start with the ones on the top. Most active rules and tunes based on the CRE report. They seem to, this is kind of a, might not be intuitive. What is the difference between the two? If we go back to the use case manager on any any rule, right? Anyone will do. What I want to do is go here to the edit in rules wizard to explain the difference between those two upper icons. And we, I, when I go to the second page, notice that you can do several things after the test conditions of the rules are evaluated. The first one is the rule action. In the rule action, if you check this check mark here, then this thing is going to fire an offense. And that goes into the icon on the left. These are the ones that fire offenses. However, optionally, you can, and, and you don't have to, I mean, not all the rules needs to fire an offense, by the way. You also have in the rule response series or section and a check mark for dispatch a new event, meaning when these test conditions are met, I launch a new event that goes out. And there are many examples. UBA is actually a very good example of this in which uh, every time a UBA rule fires, uh, most of them, they don't fire an offense. They just dispatch a new event. And that's the one that increases the risk for the user. More on that in the UBA uh, tuning series. But uh, the important thing is that these two conditions, this one on top and this one in here, which can act diff you know, separately. You may have, let's say that you are testing a rule that you want eventually to fire offenses, but you don't want it to fire offenses yet because you are testing it. Well, you may want to just dispatch an event and then do a search on the logs for those events and see how often it's, 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 it's triggering before you actually fire an offense. Or the other way around, I just want to fire an offense and I don't need to dispatch any new event. That is what you actually get to see when you go here. These are the ones that fire offenses. And these are the ones that dispatch event. That's the difference. The most important one is, of course, this one. I will spend some time in a separate video of this series on, on, in here. But this one is kind of also important because it's kind of noisy. When why are we getting all these events being launched? I mean, it's so. After we will spend most of the time in here, we may do something in here as well. We're going to review the network hierarchy. This is very important to make sure that you don't get false positives as well as false negative. The objective of mo what most people wants to do with curator is well career has so much logic, so many rules that I get too many offenses and this is not actionable. Unless I get a page of offenses per day, I'm not going to be able to investigate them all. So so the, the, the idea is to eliminate false positive, but also false negative in which you may f miss things because the network hierarchy is not well set up. It's important. And this one has to do with building blocks and reference sets and more on that later, that you need to define a few things that Curera cannot know on its own. Curera needs to know which are your devices that do this, your devices that do that. You need to provide that information. So that's what we're going to be doing in this series of videos with what we learned from Ali Allah. So in the next video, we're going to start with tune most active rules.